Yeah, let's see. Okay, so yes, okay, yes, so yes, we can start. Yeah, so thank you very much for the invitation. So, uh, it is my great pleasure to give a talk in this great seminar, uh, to introduce my recent work. So actually, uh, in this talk, probably most of the results are about algebraic structures. But we will see it is indeed related with integral systems. Yeah, but uh, I'm not quite familiar with that, but uh, there are indeed some relations. Okay, so the title is Rotbox Groups and Post Groups and the Related Structures. And uh, these are the joint work with Cheng Mingbai, Li Guo, uh, Hong Lei Lang, and uh, Tang Rong. Okay, so uh, let me first begin with uh, the terminology, the notion of Rotbox algebras. So uh, uh, originally, uh, Rotbox operators are defined on associative algebra. So let's let's briefly recall that. So A is a so this A is an associative algebra, and uh, a Rotbox operator on A is a linear map B from A to A such that it satisfies the following equality. So here, lambda is, a, is an arbitrary number in the ground field. Mm. So you can see this formula is not so complicated. So yeah, so this Rotbox algebra actually is very simple from the definition. So, but there are indeed some uh, many applications in mathematical and mathematical physics. For example, in the renormalization theory, uh, related with causal symmetric functions, and there are many applications. So, for more details, you can see uh, this book uh, written by Professor Li Guo. Okay. Uh, let me first give two basic examples. So, for any associative edge for A, so we can uh, define B uh, to be uh, minus lambda times ID. So we can verify that it is a Rotbox operator of with lambda. Okay. So another example is we consider A to be the function algebra. And then we define the operator B to be the integration operator. So you can see B defined to be the integration. And we define the capital F of X to be the integration. Then we have the derivative of capital Fx is small fx. Then using integration by parts, we have this formula, and then we rewrite this formula using B, so we have this formula. And uh, this implies that, so it implies that B is a Rotbox operator of weight zero, okay. So integration operator is, is a Rotbox op operator, okay. Uh, so in this talk, we will mainly uh, study Lie algebras. So we replace the associative multiplication by the Lie bracket. Then we can obtain uh, the notion of Rotbox operator on Lie algebras directly. So here's the details. So let G be a Lie algebra, and B from G to G is a linear map. If it satisfies this equality, then it is called a Rotbox operator of with lambda. Again, this lambda is a number in the ground field. And, uh, and in the SQL, we will call uh, the pair. So this G and uh, B. Okay, so maybe. Okay. So we, we will call this G and the B uh, to be a uh, Rotbox Lie algebra of with lambda. Uh, so in the SQL, we will need a more general notion, uh, which is called a relative Rotbox operator of with uh, lambda or with one. So a relative, namely, we need an arbitrary action. So let phi from G to H be an action of a Lie algebra G on another Lie algebra H. Then a linear map T from H to G it is called a relative Rotbox operator of weight one or with lambda. If you prefer here, we put a lambda if uh, this formula holds. Okay. 
So you can see if phi is the adjoint action, then this formula reduced to the formula in the uh, rotor box the algebra. Yeah. So we can see that relative rotor box operator are indeed generalizations of rotor box the algebra. Sorry, is there a misprint in the sign between uh, the, the, the sign before the second term on the right? Here, you mean? Yeah, yeah. It seems to be it should it should be plus here, isn't it? No, no, it's okay. No, ah, it's no. okay because ah, because the the order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that you caught here is minus yes. a d b v of u. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Sorry, mm -hmm. no problem. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, so here we give another example. So if the Lie algebra G is the direct sum of two subalgebras, G one and G two, but here it is only the direct sum as the vector spaces, actually. G1 and G2 are subalgebras, but G is the direct sum as vector spaces. Then we can define T uh, to be the minus of projection. You can see this is the minus of projection. Then it is a rotor box operator of with one. Okay. Uh, now we move to the second uh, part of the background. Uh, namely, it is the uh, modified young bus equation. So let G be a Lie algebra and let R be a linear operator from G to G. Then we can define a new bracket by this formula, new bracket. Then the question is whether this bracket satisfies the Jacobi identity so that it is a Lie bracket. So then we can compute. Actually, Professor Semenov-Tiensensky uh, compute. Then we have a necessary and sufficient condition. So this bracket is a Lie bracket if and only if we have this formula. So as soon as we have this good formula, we can ob observe two sufficient conditions immediately. So the first condition is if this guy is zero, you can see if this guy is zero, then uh, we can see that uh, it is a Lie bracket. So and uh, this is called the classical young box equation. Actually, in our uh, terminology of rotor box operator, so it is also the rotor box operator. Rotor box, yeah. And uh, also we have another sufficient condition, namely, we we if this guy is equal to this guy, so yeah, then using the Jacobi identity in the original Lie algebra, we can see that it it, it holds naturally. So we have another sufficient condition, and this equation is called the modified young bus equation. So we can see that this uh, formula compared with, with the, the rotor box formula, so they are not the same, because in, in the definition of a rotor box operator, so they, this term is in the bracket, you see, bracket is here, it's in the bracket. And uh, and here we can see, yeah, it is outside here. Okay, so, but they are similar. So there should be some relation, yeah. And there is indeed some relation. Okay, here is the relation. So a linear map B is a rotor box operator of weight one, if and only if we consider the identity plus two times B, then we denote this guy by R, then R satisfies the modified young bus equation. So, uh, this formula gives the relation between rotor box operator of weight one and the modify and the solution of modified Young bus equation. Okay. And uh, for a solution of the modified Young bus equation, Professor Semenov Tiensensky associated with a factorization theorem for the Lie algebra. Then we can consider the integration. So take the integration, one can obtain the factorization theorem for the corresponding Lie group. But in this case, since you consider the integration, so this factorization for the Lie group held in a small neighborhood of the unit. Okay. And this is the fundamental tool in for Semenov-Tiensensky in studying uh, integrable C systems. Okay. And uh, now we move to the second part of the background. So we need to introduce uh, post the algebra. So uh, the notion of post Lie algebra was introduced by Vallette, uh in the study of the Kuzu duality theory. So by definition, a post Lie algebra consists of a Lie algebra. So this is a Lie bracket, 
and uh, there is another binary product such that uh, we have the we have the following two formulas. Okay, so we can see the first one. So if we denote we de define l uh l triangle from G to G L G by this two by uh l x y equals to x y we can see that so this l x is actually in energy so l x is a derivation and uh, we have the second equality so here i need to explain what is this a triangle so a triangle is the associator for the for this for this binary product so namely so a triangle x y z is equal to x y z minus x y z. So it is the associator. Yeah. So we have this formula. Okay. And the possibly algebras uh, also have many applications. In particular, uh, there are. Uh, applications in the numerical system, in the numerical mathematics, yeah, uh, uh, numerical, numerical computation, yeah. Okay, so this is post the algebra. And uh, there are close relationship between rotabox operators and, uh, and post the algebras. Actually, rotabox operators play the role to split the algebra. So we can see the following proposition. So let T be a relative to the box operator on the algebra G with respect to an action. Then we can define a new multiplication on H by this formula. Then it turns out that this H is a post algebra. So a relative to the box operator will naturally give rise to a post algebra. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if the post algebra, so if in the post algebra, if the Lie bracket is trivial, so if Lie bracket is trivial, then we obtain a pre Lie algebra. So pre Lie algebra also called the left symmetric algebra or Kazoo algebra. So there are many terminologies, but it is the same algebraic structures. So pre Lie algebra, uh, it is a vector space G. Uh, with a multiplication triangle, it's from G tensor G to G, satisfying the following equality. Here I have explained it is the associator. So namely, so the for the associator, so the left two elements are symmetric. So that is the reason why it is also called the left symmetric algebra. So left symmetric algebra. Okay. Yeah. So one can one can view a post Lie algebra as a non abelian uh, generalization of a pre Lie algebra. Okay. So then, uh, Professor Smoke to Noichi proposed the following questions. So these questions are about uh, whether we can consider the integration of the definition of the differentiation for post Lie algebras for pre Lie algebras, but. Uh, uh, but uh, the problem we are she considered is uh, the finite field, and uh, in the SQL we will only consider the field R or C. Yeah. Okay. So now that now we consider the following questions. So what is the what is a rotabox operator on a group? Yeah. And uh, in particular, what is the integration of a rotabox Lie algebra? Because we know. A Lie algebra can be integrated to a Lie group. So we have rotabox Lie algebra. So what is its integration? And uh, also we want to know whether it is it possible to obtain the factorization theorem for a Lie group globally. So because in Semenovitian Sensky's work, uh, the factorization was obtained locally. So uh, we want to know whether we can obtain the factorization globally. Okay. And finally, we can 
ask what is the integration of post the edgeverse so that we have the following uh, diagram. So here we can consider the integration of Rotobox Lie algebra. It turns out to be Rotobox Lie group. So this is the yeah, this is the first structure uh, in the title of the talk. And also we can consider what is the integration of post Lie algebra. It turns out to be post Lie groups. And this is the second structure in the title of the talk. And further, since in the edge break level, there is a splitting theory. So uh, rotobox operators on the edgebers naturally give rise to post the edgebers. So we naturally expect a similar result in the group level. So we can show that uh, rotobox operator on the groups also give rise to post the groups. Okay. So basically, these are the main content in this talk. Okay. So these are the background about the Rotobox algebras modify Young Bach's equation and the post the algebras. Okay. Now we move to Rotobox groups. So here's the definition. Uh, let G be a Lie group. Actually, in general, uh, it is not required for a Lie group because here we want to consider the the third theorem. So we consider Lie group. But a uh, rotobox operator can be defined on any group, not necessarily. Yeah. So on a Lie group, uh, a rotobox operator of weight one on a Lie group is defined to be a smooth map B from G to G such that it satisfies this equality. Okay. Mm, so you can see uh, this equality yeah, looks much different, much different from the the, the the equation defining a rotobox operator on an associative algebra. So quite different. Okay. And also we need a more general notion called relative. So relative here we mean relative to an arbitrary representation or relative to an uh, arbitrary representation. Okay. Or to an action. So given an action phi uh, of G on H, namely phi is a group morphism from G to outer H. So a linear map B from H to G is called a relative with the buckles operator if uh, this equality holds. Yeah, so here we can see if phi is the adjoint action, then it reduced to this formula. So we can see uh, rotobox operator are special relative rotobox operator. Okay, now uh, we can give the main theorem. So if G B is a rotobox Lie group, so this pair is called a rotobox Lie group, and B is called a rotobox operator. So if G B is a rotobox Lie group, then we consider uh, this curly G. So curly G, uh, curly G is the Lie algebra of the Lie group G, and then we consider uh, the tangent map of this curly B uh, at the identity and which we denote by this capital B, then this pair GB is a rotobox Lie algebra with one. So in this case, we can say that rotobox Lie group are the integration of rotobox Lie algebras. Okay. So here I need to mention that uh, because on group, there is no linear structure. So this formula, we can see by the differentiation we obtain rotobox Lie algebra of weight one. Yeah, so, uh, so we call it rotobox of weight one on the Lie group, or simply rotobox operator. But uh, up to now, if you it doesn't make sense to uh to to consider rotobox operator of weight lambda on a Lie group. Yeah, because there is no linear structure. We can only have this special formula. Okay, so. Uh, I briefly, uh, I briefly gave the the proof, uh, which is actually very fundamental. So first, we recall some useful formulas uh, in the Lie theory. So let G be a Lie group and E is identity. So we let G to be the Lie algebra of G and let ESP to be the exponential map. Then we know that. The relation between the Lie bracket 
and the Lie group multiplication is given by this formula. Yeah, so this formula is very useful. And uh, this capital B is defined to be the tangent map of this curly B. Yeah, then if this is curly B because, because by, by the definition, we can see that uh, BE is equal to E, yeah. So we can consider its tangent map. Tangent map will give rise to this capital B from G to G, uh, okay. Then uh, the relation between capital B and the curly B are given by this formula, yeah. So this is a... Uh, Excuse me, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. Adding groups of exact factorization uh, uh, examples of uh, Rotenbaxter groups. You mean the example of Rotenbaxter groups? Uh, I suppose that the groups of exact factorizations, so such that uh, they could be represented as a product of uh, elements of two subgroups, but yeah. not. Uh, are the, these uh, groups are examples of uh, Rotenbaxter groups? Yes, yes. I will give this. Uh, uh, I will give this example soon. Yeah. So okay. actually, uh, the the inverse of the projection is is the Rotenbax operator on the Lie group because it's corresponding to uh, the inverse of the pro, uh, yeah the minus of the projection on the algebra level. And in the group level, you need to take the inverse. Okay. I will say this example soon. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So with these formulas, we can uh, give the proof. Actually, we just compute the bracket of BU and BV, then using uh, the the relation between this Lie group, uh, this, uh, uh, this Lie bracket and the group multiplication, and using the relation between this capital B and the curly B, and then using the Rotenbach's relation, then we can compute, we can obtain this formula. So it implies that B, this capital B, is a Rotenbach's operator of bit one, yeah, on the Lie algebra G. Yeah. So we have this differentiation. And uh, then we have, we give examples, okay. So here are examples. So. Uh, I, I will first recall what is the example in the Lie algebra level, and then we give uh give the, the example in the Lie group level parallel. Okay, so in the Lie algebra level, if B U defined to be minus U, then it is a root box operator. Or, or it is a root box operator of with one. Then uh, on the group level, we define B G to be the inverse of G. Then it is a root box operator on G. So uh, in the Lie algebra level, so for the algebra G, if uh, it has two sub-algebras, G plus and G minus be two sub-algebras such that as the vector spaces, uh, G is the direct sum of G plus and G minus, then uh, we can consider the projection and uh, then we add a minus sign. So the minus of the projection either to the first submount of the to the second surmount, both of them are relative to the box operators of with one. And then in the Lie group level, so if, if G is, uh, is G plus times G minus, such that G plus and G minus, the intersection is the identity, then we can define this curly B to be the inverse of the projection. But uh, one need to note that only to the second surmount, uh, not to the first, because it's not commutative. So here we need to be careful. So this is the example of a rotor box operator uh, on, on G. And uh, by this example, actually, there are, there are a huge class of examples of rotor box operators. So for example, by the Iwasawa decomposition, we have many, many examples actually. So I think this is the example you talk about, right? Yes, yes, yes. But no, yeah. the question are the other examples not of such nature? Uh, other examples, you mean? Not the Baxter groups, yes. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, not be represented. in the SQL, we will also, <laughs> we will also uh, study post groups. 
and we will see that the post groups will naturally give those box operators on groups. Yeah. Okay. And also, actually, there are some literatures and they give many explicit examples. Yeah, maybe uh, at the end of the talk, I, I will in introduce the literature. Actually, they give many examples. Also, uh, uh, also the the rotor box operator or post groups, uh, it is related with braces. So braces also give a huge class of examples of rotor box groups. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let me move on. Uh, okay, so. Uh, recall that this is a formula for the box operator on the algebra, and this is a formula for the box operator on the group. So here we give a remark. So at the D algebra level, we know that we consider this new bracket defined by this formula, then it is a D bracket. And this D algebra is called the descendant D algebra, and the B is the D algebra homomorphism. So it is naturally to expect parallel result in the group level. Yeah. So here is the result. So let G B be a root box Lie group. Then we can define a new multiplication. We call it a star. So G star H defined to be G A D B G H. Okay. Then it turns out that it is a Lie group, which is called the descendant Lie group. And it's a Lie algebra is exactly the descendant Lie algebra, okay. And also, uh, the operator curly B is a root box operator on this descendant Lie group. And moreover, curly B is a homomorphism of root box Lie group from the descendant root box Lie group to the original, uh, to the original root box Lie group, okay. So actually, uh, by this prop. By, by this pro property, actually, we have a stresses, a, a stresses of root box Lie groups. So, yeah, we can consider yeah, B, B square, yeah, so on. Okay. And uh, so here we can give another example. So for the previous root box operator B, so recall that it is defined by, by this formula, the, the, the inverse of the projection to the second amount. Then we have a new group structure on G given by this formula, so it's uh, easy to compute. And in the group, in the algebra level, it's the algebra is this, is given by this formula. So you will, this new bracket is given by this, okay. Uh, now we give the factorization theorem of the box Lie groups. So uh, recall that GB is a descendant Lie group. So the descendant map multiplication is given by this formula. And then we define another map, B plus. So B plus is defined by B plus G equals to G times BG, okay. Then since in, in, in the previous proposition, we say that B is a group homomorphism. And then it's equal to verify that B plus is also a group homomorphism. So we have two group homomorphism B and B plus from the descendant Lie group to the original Lie group, okay. And then we denote by G plus to be the image of B plus and G minus to be the image of B and denote by K plus to be the kernel of B and K minus to be the kernel of B plus. So since both B and B plus are homomorphisms, so using the fundamental theorem of homomorphisms, we know G plus G minus are the subgroups and the K plus K minus are normally subgroups of GB. And the moreover, so G plus is isomorphic to the quotient group, okay? So it's very simple, but uh, some notations, yeah. And the moreover, what's important is the, is the following lemma. Actually, K plus is contained in G plus and the K minus is contained in G minus actually and they are normal subgroups. Since they are normal subgroups, so we can consider the quotient group. So we have two quotient group, and then we define a map theta from this quotient group to this quotient group by simply this formula. Yeah, because 
uh, element in G minors are of the form of BG, you see. So we, we define this theta, then it turns out that theta is actually a Lie group isomorphism, and it is, uh, we call it clay transformation of the Rotbox operator. So uh, the important thing is it is a Lie group isomorphism, okay. And then we can consider the product Lie group. So namely we consider the product of G plus and G minus. So the group structure is very simple, just the product. And then we define a subset G theta defined by this formula. So it is a subset of the of, of this product group satisfying this this condition. Okay. And then we can prove that so G theta it is actually a Lie subgroup. And we define a map phi from G to G theta by this formula, then it is a Lie group isomorphism from the descendant Lie group to G theta. So namely, in this big group, actually we find a small subgroup which is isomorphic to the descendant Lie group. So with these preparations, we can give the main theorem. So namely the factorization theory, the factorization theorem of Rotbach's Lie group. So let G be be a Rotbach's Lie group. Then element any any element G can be uniquely expressed as G equals to G plus times times the inverse of G minus. Okay. And the G plus G minus belong to G theta. So this is the factorization theorem. Uh, if we take the differentiation, then we get the factorization theorem of Rotbach's Lie algebras, which coincides with Zeminev Tiansensky's infinitesimal factorization theorem. And note that Professor Zeminev Tiansensky takes the integration to obtain the factorization theorem for Lie groups and only held in a small neighborhood of the unit. But for our theorem, because we use the root box operators only groups, so it is a global factorization. Uh, it is a global factorization, okay. Then we try to give some application to Hamiltonian system, but uh, to be honest, so this part uh, is not new, so only uh, rewrite uh, Professor Semenov Tiansensky's result. Okay. So since G B, uh, uh, let, let, let G B be a root box the Lie algebra, then G has two Lie algebra structures. So one, you, you see, one is the original Lie bracket and the other, uh, the another is this B bracket. Okay. So there are two Lie algebra structures. So that's uh, the dual space G star has two Lie Poisson structures. So we, we have two Lie Poisson structures. And uh, we have two kind of Hamiltonian vector fields. So we have two kind of Hamiltonian vector fields, okay? And uh, then uh, we have this proposition. So let G be, be a root box Lie algebra. Then uh, if we consider the AD star invariant functions on G star, then they are in evolution with respect to both of the two Lie Poisson structures, okay? And uh, the equation of motion on G star given by an AD star invariant Hamiltonian H related to this Poisson bracket can be written by this formula. Okay. So first we have this formula and by the relation between two Lie algebra structures, it can be rewritten re in this formula. Okay. And uh, then we can give solutions. So I need to say this is not new. It is given by Smith of Tiansensky, actually, yeah. So let GB be a Rotbach's Lie group, and the GB is corresponding Rotbach's Lie algebra. Then the solution of the above Hamiltonian system is given by this formula. So uh, cos t is equal to this one, also equal to this one. So here we need to, to, to explain what is G minus, what is G plus. So G minus and G plus are obtained by the factorization, okay? So 
because we have ESP T TX zero, then we have the factorization. Then we obtain what is G G plus and what is G minus. Yeah, so that we can give the solutions. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, but uh, actually this is only the rewrite of the uh of the result of the of the Simonov's ten sense key. But uh, we do hope there are some truly applications of Rotterbach's Lie groups and uh, this global factorization in integrable systems. But up to now, we, we, we don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is the first part about, about Rotterbach's groups. And uh, now let's move to the second part about the post group, uh, namely uh, in order to consider the integration of post Lie algebra. So first we give the definition a post group, it is a group G equipped with another binary operation, triangle on G, such that uh, the following two conditions are satisfied. The first condition is if we consider the left multiplication of this triangle, so this is defined by the left multiplication, then it is an automorphism of the group G. Yeah, so you see. So the left multiplication is an automorphism. And then we also have the following weighted associativity for this triangle, so this formula. So it is not associative, yeah, but uh, combined with the multiplication of the original group structure. Okay. So yeah, this is host group, okay. Mm. Okay, post group. Uh, now here is a very important uh, property of post group. So so let G be a post group, then we define a new multiplication. Uh, we can define a new multiplication by this formula. Then this multiplication is a group. And also E is its unit, but the inverse map is given by this formula. Okay, so we have a new group. <clears throat> Moreover, so the left the left multiplication is the is an action of this new group on the original group, and uh, using the Aforementioned terminology, so uh, this new group, this new group is called the sub-adjacent group of the post group. Yeah. So a post group will give rise to a new group, and furthermore, give rise to an action of the new group on the original group. Okay. So this property is very important. Uh, then, so in the SQL, we show that by differentiation, a post Lie group, we can obtain a post Lie algebra. So here we uh, explain a little bit how to do the differentiation. So not let G be a post Lie group, and then we know there's a Lie algebra. So let G be the Lie algebra of the Lie group. And we denote by alt G and drill G, uh, the Lie group of, of automorphisms and the Lie algebras of derivations on the Lie algebra G, respectively. So, since this left multiplication is in is an automorphism, so it follows that if we consider its tangent map, it it is an automorphism of the Lie algebra G. Okay, so we obtain a map which we use the same notation from G to out G. Actually, this is this one. Okay. Then we take the differentiation. Then we obtain a standard map from its Lie algebra to the derivation uh, to the to the Lie algebra of derivations of G. Okay. So this is standard map. So the bar 
process can be summarized by this uh this diagram okay okay as soon as we have this this uh, tangent map we can define a new map on the algebra g so we define a small triangle on the algebra g by this formula so x triangular y is defined to be this guy yeah you you see so since this guy is from g to third g so this guy is in third g so and then it acts on y and by definition it it, it has the following uh, expression okay so we define a new multiplication on g then the theorem is let G be a Postly group, then its differentiation, its differentiation is Postly algebra. Okay. So, uh, so we use the differential geometry. Uh, use the the language. What uh, all how to say? Um, we use the tool of the differential geometry. Uh, to do the differentiation. Actually, uh, one can also consider the converse problem, namely, given a Postly algebra, whether one can obtain a Postly group such that the differentiation of this Postly group is the original Postly algebra. Uh, actually, we give another solution of this question, namely, we consider the formal integration, uh, but not integrate to a Postly group, but uh, integrate a post the algebra formally to a post group not post the group we can only consider we, we we gave the formal integration of post the algebra okay so now we introduce post uh introduce rot box groups and the post groups so we naturally expect there should be some relations between uh, root box operators on groups and the post groups. Now uh, I gave this relation. So let B from H to G be a relative root box operator on a group G with respect to an action phi. Then we define a binary project triangle on, on the lead group H as following. So we can define a new multiplication on H. Then H together with this triangle, it is a post group. Yeah. So a relative root box operator on a group naturally gives rise to a post group. Yeah. So we have uh we have this uh pyro re relation. Mm -hmm. Recall that in the Lie algebra level, a root box operator on the Lie algebra also gives rise to a post Lie algebra. Yeah. So in the group level, we also have this similar uh, result. And conversely, there is also the relation from post groups to root box operators. So let G be a post group. Then recall that. Given a post group, then we have a new sub adjacent group, which is denoted by this guy. We have a new group. So we consider the identity map ID from G to G. Then it is a relative root box operator on this sub adjacent group with respect to the action. This action, this action is, is exactly the left multiplication. Yeah. Because yeah, we gave this property. So the a post group not only gives rise to a group, a, a a new group, but also an action. Yeah. And then the identity map is a root box operator. Yeah. Actually, these two procedure, namely from post groups to root box operators, or conversely from root box operators to post groups. Can be enhanced to be two functors, and one functor actually is left adjoined to another functor. Okay. Uh, here, here 
so factorization actually have another meaning, not have another meaning. So rotaboxer operators also give rise to another kind of factorization of groups. So uh, let B from H to G be a map. Here, capital H and capital G are two groups. Then we define an invertible map to psi B from H times G to, to H times G. But this guy is a semi-direct project Lie group because we also have an action actually. So G act on H. So we have the semi-direct project Lie group. And then we consider this invertible map. Since it is an invertible map, so we can pull back this Lie group structure on this space. So uh, the inverse of this invertible map is given by this formula. So we transfer the group structure on this semi-direct project to H times G, then we obtain a new group, you see. We obtain a new group structure. Then we have the following result. So if this new group factorization into two subgroup, one is H times EG, and another is EH times G, if and only if B is a relative root box operator. Okay. So uh, actually in this case, so this group and this group, they form a match pair of groups. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now uh, we have introduced rotobox operators on groups and the post groups and establish the relations between rotobox operators on groups and the post groups. And we also show that by Differentiation, uh, we can obtain a, po a, a rotobox operator on the algebra uh, from a rotobox operator on a Lie group. And also we can obtain a post Lie algebra from a post Lie group, okay? So finally, I gave some relations to other structures. Namely, we, we, we want more examples, right? So we, we can see that uh, rotobox operator or post groups actually uh, have close relation with with other structures. So here uh, we have four structures, namely skew left braces, the young buster equation, butcher groups, and the operat. You can see that there are uh, close relation with these structures. Okay, first uh, we talk about skew left brace. So here's the definition of skew left brace. So a skew left brace uh, is a group consists of two groups, you see. So this is group and this is group such that uh, this compatibility condition holds. Okay, two groups and satisfy this compatibility condition. It is uh, called a skew left brace. Actually, if one group is abelian, then it is simply a brace. Here, skew left brace. Uh, yeah, it's a generalization of breeze. Namely, we have two groups, and in general, these two groups are not abelian group. Okay. Uh, so breeze are a very popular research area recently. Yeah, because it is related uh to young bus location, and one can one can one can construct solutions uh of a young bus equation using braces. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now we give the relation between braces and uh, and the uh, post group. Okay, so let G be a post group, uh, be a be a brace, be a skew left brace. Then we define a new binary product triangle. We define a new binary product by this formula. Then it is a post group. Okay, so. A skew left brace naturally gave rise to a post group. And uh, conversely, given a post group, and we know that there's a sub-adjacent sub group circle. So on G, there are two group structure. Then it turns out that the two group structure actually gives you the structure of skew left brace. Okay. 
So we can see that there is a one-to-one -one construction. Actually, we can we can consider the functors. Uh, yeah, and then actually the category of post groups is isomorphic to the category of skew left braces. Actually, they are isomorphic. Okay. So this is first uh, application. And then the second application, we can use post groups or root box operators to construct solutions of the young box equation. Uh, excuse me, before going yeah. further, uh, could you answer my question? <clears throat> so I, I'd like to, uh, to understand how rich is the new uh, category of post uh, Lie groups. Uh, for example, for the simple Lie group uh, like uh, SLN, uh, are there uh, different post uh, Lie group structure than uh, the post Lie group structure related with some exact factorization of SLN? Ah, this is a very nice question. Yeah, very nice question. Uh, but uh, yeah, there should be different post Lie group structure if you you first fix a group structure. Yeah, but uh, we 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 didn't consider this question in detail. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Mm. There should be other post group structure. Yeah. Okay. Now, now in the sequel, we show that uh, post group uh, give rise to uh, the solution of a Young Bass equation. Okay. So uh, here we know, but here we only consider the set theoretical solution to the Young Bass equation. Okay. So. Uh, R is is said to be a, a set theoretical set, set theoretical solution to the Young Bass equation on X if R satisfy this relation. Okay, and uh, uh, here we need the the notion of a match pair of groups. So so a match pair of groups uh, is a triple. So consider G H and the sigma. So G H are groups, and the sigma is a map. And we we already write sigma uh, into I, I'm sorry I don't know how to read it yeah into this form and uh, such such that the following conditions are satisfied okay so this is match pair of groups and uh, if one is familiar with match pair of the algebras then it is its natural generalization yeah but uh, the, the 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 formula looks a little complicated okay match pair and uh, so root box uh, operators on groups naturally give rise to match pair of groups. So let B be a relative root box operator on a group. Then we can define this left action and this right action by this formula. So this left action is the original action of G on H. And uh, this right action of H and G is defined by this formula. Okay. Actually, how do we obtain this action? So uh, at the end of the section of the relation between root box operators and post groups, actually we introduce such uh, invertible mat, invertible map co co cosine b. Actually, uh, this formula is obtained from that invertible map. Okay, then they, then they, this is a match pair of groups. Okay, so sigma is given by this. So we have left action of G on H and the right action of H on G. So a root box operator gave rise to a match pair, okay? And then uh, we need to use uh, Lu Yan Zhu's result on the solution of the Young Buster equation, okay? And then uh, and they use the breeding group. So here's the definition of breeding group. It is a pair G sigma. So G is a group and sigma is a map from G times G to G times G such that so G G sigma is a match pair of group and this relation satisfies. Okay. So this is a breeding group. So as soon as we have a breeding group, then we have a solution of the Young Basel equation. So this is uh, the famous result given by Lu Yan Zhu in this literature. So namely, let G sigma be a breeding group, then sigma is a solution of the Young Bass equation, okay? Now, uh, we are ready to, to give the solution of 
or for the Yang Buster equation using root box operators and post groups. Okay, so let G be a post group. Then uh, we define this R G by this formula. By this formula. So here this circle G is the sub adjacent group structure. So namely a post group. So give a new group which is called the sub sub adjacent group. So then uh we have the following result. So let G be a post group, then this is a breeding group, and this RG is a solution of the Young Bus equation on the set G. So a post group will naturally give rise to a solution of the Young Bus equation. Since a relative rotor box operator induces a post group, so a relative rotor box operator naturally provides a solution of the Young Bus equation. Okay, so this is our corollary. So let B be a relative to the box operator on a group. Then we define this RB by this formula. Yeah, by this formula. So yeah, because we mentioned a relative to the box operator will induce a post group, and then using the 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 above result, we have this corollary. So it is a solution of the Young Bus equation. Okay. And uh, uh, in the sequel, actually, we we can talk uh, two more uh, two more examples of post groups, but I think it is too specialized, and uh, also the time is limit. Okay, maybe I just say several words about it. So uh, there is butcher groups, or more generally, Lee butcher groups, uh, which are uh, very important in the area of numerical analysis. And uh, butcher groups is uh, infinity dimensional Lie groups. And uh, we found that actually, so here maybe I omit details. Actually, we found that there are, there are post Lie group structures behind butcher group and the Lie butcher group. So, yeah, maybe I can only mention this result. So we have a post group whose sub adjacent group is exactly the butcher group. Okay. So so butcher group will provide a huge class of uh of examples of post group and also the box operators. So we have some uh, concrete examples actually. And uh, finally, actually, uh it is also related to opera. So also it is too specialized. So basically for an opera, then we can obtain a group GP. So P is opera, then we can obtain a group GP, which is called the P group. So yeah, so so this, this is a very famous result. So any opera gives rise to a group called the P group. And we found that this P group it's also the sub adjacent group of post group. Okay, so so here we can define a new binary project on this P group. Yeah, so here the formula are complicated. So I think oh, I only mentioned uh, several words, and then the result is so the P group we can find a post group such that is sub adjacent group exactly the P group. Okay. Uh, so so here are the references. So the content of the talk uh, are all from these three literatures. Uh, also, uh, recently there are many developments of these topics about the box operators uh, on groups. You can see, yeah. So the box operators on Clifford semi groups. And also the box groups and the skill left breeze also also um, uh, also this concept uh, because we have the box operator on groups so we can generalize to hypervisors directly so so uh, so Gongcha ref succeeds in defining the box operators on co commutative hypervisors and uh, and also. Uh, and also, I think in in this literature, there are many concrete examples. So they consider 
uh, some explicit some concrete group and compute how many root box operators are there. I think maybe, uh, yeah, and also. Also, yeah, also in this paper, there are also many examples. So, yeah, so here are some uh, some recent developments. Yeah, I list some some recent developments, but not all the development. Yeah. Uh, also, we are considering some other questions. For example, uh, here we define a root box operator on Lie groups, uh, so that we obtain the factorization theorem for Lie group. So. Since I uh, say uh, yeah, since, since I'm uh, also working in Poisson geometry, so so it's natural to ask whether we can define a root box operator on a Poisson group, so that using root box operator we can start a some structure theory of Poisson group. For example, whether we can consider the factorization of Poisson group, but here we might. Um, some challenge, yeah, because we need to figure out what is the compatibility condition between root box operator and the Poisson structure. Yeah, it is still under consideration. Also, uh, from Poisson geometry point of view, since we have post group, so it's naturally considered post group point, and also dynamical Young Bass equation are very important. So, if we consider Poisson group point, maybe we can study the relation with dynamical young bus equation. Yeah, these questions are still under consideration. I cannot say more about that. Okay, I think uh, these are all what I want to talk about. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Any comments, <laughs> any questions? Dima. <laughs> Yes, sure. Uh, one question, which is related with uh, the first one uh, at the at the page. So, is it natural to uh, state the problem of Rotterbuster uh, structure on quantum groups? Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah, maybe related to this. this so it's a quantization this... of uh, uh, your first question. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So actually. Behind this, actually, there is a huge picture, you see. So uh, there are several, several steps. So for example, I think this, uh, this literature is the first step to, to define the box operator on Hopofi algebra. Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, but, but even here, actually, there are many challenge because here we can only consider co-commutative Hopofi algebra because we know by the structure theorem, Co-commutative Hopofi algebra are very re restrictive. Yeah, so we need to go further for general Hopofi algebra and to maybe to quantum group. And also, as, as you said, for this question, maybe from the other hand, maybe consider the box operator on quantum group so that we can consider the, the, the limit. So actually, yeah, there are, yeah, it's, it's true, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, very interesting. So may I also ask a simple question um yeah. you when you spoke about the relation between uh rota baxter algebras and rota baxter groups and i don't know don't remember the exact terminology you said that you showed how to produce the algebra from the group so i yeah. wonder whether it's the reverse uh theorem whether you can produce a group from the algebra just like you can produce the Lie group from the algebra by integration yeah 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 very, very good question. And actually, uh, we consider this question. And up to now, in another paper, but uh, I didn't list here, we consider this question. But uh, uh, it is a little pity that we can, we can now, up to now, we can only show that uh, one, uh, one can obtain a local rotobox group from a rotobox algebra. Oh, I see. We, yeah, I, I, probably there should be some topological obstruction to obtain a global uh, root box Lie group. But uh, now we can we can integrate it to local root box Lie yeah. group. Right. But uh, yeah, it's a very good question. And also this question also holds for for post Lie group. So for post uh, for post Lie algebra, we can consider its integration. But uh, you, you know, so there are several ways to consider the integration. And for 
For post the algebras, uh, we use another approach. We study formal integration. Namely, we consider complete post the algebra and we integrate formally to a post group, not a post Lie group, but a simply a post group. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? No. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will wait uh, the, the slide.